What's up, everyone? It's Forgotten Circus. So there it is. There's the announcement. The showrunner has said that season five of The Boys will be the final season. So I I, I do agree with it um, because you got the Gen V. You got Gen V going on right now. So things you'll probably see some um, cameos within the Gen V series. It's uh, if, if it's uh, successful. I didn't mind. I didn't mind Gen V. I thought Gen V was actually pretty good. I liked it. And I thought it fit in perfectly with the boys' universe. So, but this is going to be the final season. So uh, we're going to get, uh, well, not this season that we're about to watch. The next season, season five, is where it's all going to end. But if you kind of think about it, it is pretty, uh, it's a great show. I'm going to miss it. Um, it's it's hilarious. It's fun. It's It pulls on your heartstrings sometimes. It has it all in this show. And Amazon did a really good job with this, right? So, um, yeah. So, obviously, we're going to see Scorched Earth. And when you actually look at the whole aspect of it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Because you got the Gen V people, and you still have Ryan. I'm pretty sure Ryan's still going to be around. He's going to survive this whole thing. And I'm not going to... I don't want to spoil anything, but Ryan's more important than what people think. They think he's just a lost, lost, lost child right now. Lost kid doesn't know which way to go. He'll, he'll, he'll get it together. But so it, it does. It's, it's been great. Everything's worked. Even when they brought Jensen Eccles in as soldier boy and that whole was a season three, everything just, it, it just, the show is just so good. I love it. And if you haven't seen it, I'm going to let you know there is some uh, controversial stuff and there is some stuff that you may want to turn your head on and may get you uncomfortable. That's how good the show it gets under your skin, but then pulls you back in. So the final season, the showrunner has announced. So with 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 that, with that being the final season, then obviously this season that we're about to watch here shortly and I'll be doing my reviews on them. A lot of stuff's going to unfold because these are usually eight episodes and with the boys, they do it right with the eight episodes. But when you get to the eight episode, you're like, oh, couldn't you have done two more? I know the story worked perfectly, but it's like two more. I, it just random flashbacks could have done some flashbacks for two episodes. But yeah, that's how much I like it. So it's all it's all it's all coming to an end. So in this season, season four, it's really got to hit you. You got to speed some things up. Um, they're great with pacing, but speed a little bit up, and then uh, who knows what they'll do with season five? Hey, I'm I'm on board for saying, hey, if you're going to do season five, can we get a can we get at least ten episodes for season five? Ten. So how's the story going to unfold in this season? We don't know yet. I mean, uh, third season, wow, you lost some very key important characters. Spoiler alert, if you, if you haven't watched it, something's wrong with you. You lost a lot of key important characters that are only going to be in these last two seasons. So who's going to step in as the new as the new superhero? The new soups is. Is Giancarlo Esposito going to come back? I know they got a. Oh, my gosh. What is his name? Negan. I, what is his name? But Negan take out a whole cast in one episode. <laughs> Run the walking dead for me. He's still a great actor, though. That's a. Uh, he's also another Winchester. Wink, wink. You know. Um. So I want to see how Vaught's going to be, and what's what's his name? Um. Edgar. What's Giancarlo Esposito's name? Why is it slipping? Slipping. Anyway. So we do know. We obviously know that Bill. Bill the Butcher, is uh, he's sick, and he's only got a little bit of time. So what are you going to do with that? Because if you if you started this with him and he's your main, please don't Ned Stark Game of Thrones him. Please don't Ned Stark games Game of Thrones him in this. He has to go all the way to the end. We want to see Scorched Earth. Because that was pro that was the promise. So that's why in their way of in their way of how they go about it, Homelander and uh, Bill the Butcher are doing it fair it's like a gentleman's bet to them to two really evil people 
one more evil than the other. And will Homelander get his due? But this it, this work this makes sense because a lot of, um, Gen V did got a, get a lot of uh, rave and got a lot of good reviews, so that's that's positive. And I think it's still the same writers and well, obviously the show oh, it may be the same show. They know what they're doing with that. So because Gen V was just like the boys, just with the younger crowd, and I think that's where this is my theory is that. Ryan gets through all this scorched earth and all that, and he becomes the leader of the new soups that are better, um, not attached to Vaught. They're actually really superheroes. So, well, those guys are kind of superheroes in their weird own way. Yeah. And we're obviously we're going to see like a civil war in uh, season four. So that civil war is going to, that's really going to ignite what is the faction of Starlight and faction of Homelander? And that's a that's a big thing too. Like, there's a lot of characters that are gonna make it through this, and then can pop up in Gen V. You know, a lot of them can move over probably into Gen V. Because obviously, all those uh, young people, young kids in Gen V, young teenagers, young adults, are gonna need some type of mentor mentorship and guidance from the original boys. So. I don't know. My theory is I really think that Bill the Butcher is going to take um, he's going to take V. He's going to take it. I'm I'm not spoiling anything. I don't know. I don't know. No one told me. No, no one has told me. So don't get it twisted. I really think he's going to do it. I don't think my thing is I don't think he'll survive. But I think it'll give him enough. How, how can you say? Pack a punch. To stand up to Homelander because that was the promise. And whether something else happens and he could live, I don't know. But now apparently he's uh, playing Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat. I, th I think that's a great choice, too. I think that's a great, great choice for him as Johnny Cage. People are like, well, he's a little too old for Johnny. Johnny Cage is supposed to be a movie star that knows martial arts. It'll be all right. I mean, he doesn't like he, he's OK. But oh, Bill the Butcher, it's all coming to an end next season. So now this season, you're really going to watch carefully about everything, everything that goes on. Yeah. So. Uh, am I sad? No, because I know that they're going to go with Gen V and then we're going to get a new aspect and they are going to bring. I know they're going to bring a lot of the characters that survive into it but it's like i'm gonna miss the boys together man literally the boys so build a butcher chemical frenchy mother's milk and huey i'll miss y'all guys but anyway let me uh cut it right there um yeah the boys Tell me what you think. If you watch the boys, you like it. I think that you should, uh, if you can, uh, I, it'd probably be impossible because what it comes. No, you could do it. You could definitely do it. You could binge it. If you haven't watched it yet, it comes out Thursday. So you got what? To, oh, you could probably pull it off. If you ain't got nothing, if you ain't got nothing going on or just, oh man, I don't know. It's a lot. That's three seasons. Whatever. Uh, try it. You never know. Some people like, I binge night. You don't sleep. I'm, I suffer from insomnia. Well, that that's the show for you. <laughs> that is definitely the show for you. You suffer from insomnia, and I'm not saying that that's a good thing that you're suffering from insomnia. It's a condition. I do apologize. But yeah, that's the show for you to keep you entertained. But anyway, tell me what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Forgotten Circus. All it takes is one little click to like, one little comment, and subscribe trying to build this stuff. I'm now over one, one K. So thank you everybody. And it's fitting that it's in the boys that I reached one K and above. I do appreciate all y'all support, but let's keep subscribing people. And I want everyone to subscribe. And I do mean everyone.